Alright guys, we are back again and in the last video we learned about this pipelines.python file and in this video we are going to be using this pipelines.python file to store the data inside our SQLite 3 database. Now if you are not using SQLite 3 and you don't want to use SQLite 3, feel free to use any other database. We are going to be discussing other databases in the forward lectures in the previous video lectures. So if you want you can skip this video. For example, if you are using MongoDB database, you can just directly jump to that video but if you want to stick around and maybe learn how SQLite 3 works and uh, how we are going to be using Scrappy to store the data inside the SQLite 3 database feel free to stick around so let's get back to our uh, video so for a moment we are going to forget about pipelines and Scrappy we are just going to learn about SQLite 3 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this code tutorial folder and I'm gonna create a new temporary file so we are going to be deleting this file later this is file is just to learn about SQLite 3 and I'm gonna call this file as database because we are going to be creating a database so why not and then we are just going to import SQLite 3 over here and the cool thing about SQLite 3 is that you don't need to install anything externally so SQLite 3 is already inside Python that is why you don't need to pip install it after importing SQLite 3 we can uh, just create a connection and how do we create that we just create a variable called con you can call it whatever you want I'm just gonna call it con con stands for connection and then I'm gonna write SQLite 3.connect and then over here you need to write down the database or the database file name so I'm just gonna call our database as my codes because we are going to be storing the codes inside this file and it has an extension of .db .db stands for database so what this line is going to do is, is using this SQLite 3 is going to connect to this my codes database and if this database does not exist then this is going to create this file of my codes.db but if all it already exists then it's just going to connect to this database so let's actually try it out and run this database.py file by right clicking on it and clicking on run database and after clicking on it, you'll be able to see that this new file of mycodes.db has been created for us. And this is actually a file that will contain all of our database. And you can even run it again if you want. You'll be able to see that you know overwritten is done. It just opens up the file again. Now what you need to do is we need to implement something known as a cursor. Now cursor helps us take advantage of all the other functionalities that are inside this SQLite 3 package. So to take advantage of that, let's create a new variable and we are going to call it CURR for cursor and then we are just going to use our connection variable and we are going to write dot cursor and that's pretty much it. Now we can go on to add stuff inside this mycodes.tv. So the first thing we are going to do is add a very simple table. So if you don't know, uh, I'm not going to go much into it because it is not a SQL or a database video series. This is a scrappy series, but just to give you an idea, a database normally contains a table which has rows and columns and the data is stored inside these rows and columns. So first thing we need to do is create this table. So how do we create the table inside SQLite 3? It's pretty simple. You just use your cursor variable that is URR and then you write execute. So whenever we need to execute statements of SQL, for example, if you already know SQL, for example, create table or uh, insert values inside a database or delete values inside a database, then we need to use this dot execute function that is inside this dot cursor variable or uh, yeah, that cursor variable that we have created. Now what we are going to do is we are going to execute our statement but first we need to write our statement so we are going to start by writing triple quotes and triple quotes is used whenever you need to write a multiple sentence query so if for example a query is basically a statement that sql needs to execute so if we need to write multiple queries multiple line queries so for example our query is going to come on multiple lines then we need to use these triple quotes so what we are going to do is we are just going to write create table over here and then we are going to write the name of the table I'm just going to call it quotes underscore TB TB stands for table you can call it whatever you want feel free to be innovative and then we are just going to create a bracket over here and then I'm just going to press enter and over here we are just going to write the name of the variables that we want inside your database so I want the title and uh, what data type is the title going to be our uh, title is going to be of text type so SQLite 3 if I remember properly it contains five kind of data types text integer are the basic ones it contains three more I don't remember but anyways if you want to store any kind of textual data you can call it text 
data type and if you want to save cost or something for example if you were scrapping amazon and needed to store the data of the cost of a product then instead of text you could have used an integer but in our case all the three of them like uh, the title the author and the tags are all of our uh, text type so we are not going to use the integer and then i'm just going to make sure that this is formatted properly by pressing the tag button all right so this looks good and don't worry about this yellowish over here this um, pie charm just make sure that whenever this execute statement is written it makes sure that this is separated a little bit and it shows you in the yellow color but don't worry about it too much now that our table has been written actually this hasn't been created yet inside our database because for that we need to execute our database.py file and we also need to commit this uh, execute statement so what we are going to do is we are going to write con dot commit and this is going to make sure that all of these statements inside this data base.py file are executed when this database.py file is run and it's always a good practice to close the connection after you have done all of the work with the database.py file and basically escalate three database so this connection is activated over here and then this connection is closed by this line now before we execute this file i just want to show you what's inside this my course.db because we created this file when there was nothing over here only these two lines were present then we created this my course.db file so let me just show you guys what's inside this my course.db file so how do you look inside these sqlite 3 files is uh, you can download programs uh, offline softwares if you want but what i like to use is use this website called sqlite.online.com if you want you can search for other websites you can just go to google and kind of uh, just type something like uh, view sqlite 3 online and you'll get a lot of websites for free but anyway this is the website that i like to use so what we can do is we can just go to file open db and then we can search for this file over here that is inside our scrappy tutorial folder let me go over here and over here you can see that this is the my course.db file that i want so let's click on it and uh, if we go over here you can see that nothing is present so even though we have uploaded the file there is nothing inside this file so it doesn't look like anything basically let me just upload it once more to be sure all right so there's nothing inside this uh, this file so what we are going to do is we are going to run this database.py file again and right clicking on it run database and now you'll be able to see that there is this icon that has changed over here and uh, some basically a table has been created inside this database so now we can go over here again click on file open db and click on this my course.db file and now you can see that a table has been created over here and if you click on it there will be nothing inside the table because we haven't added any items inside it but you can see that we are making some progress at least and this course underscore tb table has been created now let's actually try and actually add some kind of values inside our course underscore tb table so what we'll do is we'll just uncomment this over here the execute of create table quotes underscore tb statement because we don't want the table to be again created because it has been already created once and if you execute this uh, file again it will probably give you an error which says the table has already been created actually let me just show it to you guys so if we run the play button again you'll be able to see that it says table quotes tb already exists that is why we are commenting out this statement before inserting the values inside our quotes underscore tb table so we can just write cur execute again and now we are going to be inserting inside our uh, sqlite 3 table and if you already use sql you probably already know what to do you just write insert into and then we just write the name of our table so we are going to write quotes underscore tb and we are going to write the values and inside this we are going to give it the values so over here we have the title the author and the tag so let for now let's just give the values manually so the title we can say is uh, python is uh, awesome let's be honest here it is and uh, then the author author is built with python and then we can say that the tag is um, let's just give the tag as python all right so this looks pretty good hopefully i haven't missed anything and now we can just run this file again and all of these three values should get inserted inside our table so let's run the play button again no error perfect 
let's go back to our SQLite online click on open db and let's open up this file again and now if we click on this course db file you can see that it contains the title the author and the tag and it contains the value of python is awesome the author and the tag so guys uh, actually this video has been pretty pretty long so the second part of the SQLite 3 video will be covering in the next video the second part we'll be covering in the next video and what we'll be doing is we'll be using the same concepts that we learned over here inside this pipelines.py file and more specifically inside this code tutorial pipeline class. So I'll see you in the next video and uh, we'll finish the process of storing the data inside our SQLite3 database. Peace out.